Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we got a long needed upgrade for the car. So let's get into it. As you know, we have this uh, intake system that came on the car when I bought it. I told you guys about it. Um, I told you I'd rather have something that goes through that hole so it's actually a cold air intake because my intake air temperatures are just a little bit too hot sometimes. Um, so that's what we got, a new actual, actually functional cold air intake. So we're gonna be installing that today. If you'd like to pick up one for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. So we're gonna get straight into this. Just gonna start by disconnecting all of the uh, electrical connectors. Should just be two. With the MAP sensor and the intake air temp sensor. And disconnect the hose clamp up there. And uh, the main reason I went ahead and did this, although it should have already been done, one of the reason I went ahead and pulled the trigger and got one of these uh, is because I'm about to get the equipment I need to do some live tuning on this thing because that's the last thing I have to have before I do uh, aftermarket cams on this thing because I want to be able to tune, up, tune it after I put the cams on because I just have PI cams in here right now, not really too aggressive aftermarket ones. And to do that, I need to be able to tune it. So I didn't want to tune it with uh, the intake air temps I have now. So I'd rather get this swapped out and then do the tuning. That's the piece. This uh, new setup I have will be reusing the factory uh, map housing. Just got to separate the uh, map housing from the filter and the old intake tubes. And on there tight. There we go. Wouldn't be a bad idea to clean the math, but I don't have any math cleaner with me right now. That'll have to happen at a later date. All right, this uh, new intake setup didn't come with a new gasket for right here. And the old one is not reusable in my case. So I'm going to use a little bit of RTV around the edge right here. Make sure both of these surfaces are clean. And we're just going to bolt everything together with the included bolts and nuts. Get the rest of these on here. All right, we got that all bolted together and tightened up. So we can come over here. And get this little block off plate 
set up. All right, on this you have two dowels that screw into the bottom via the bolts they supply. Normally there's apparently supposed to be two rubber grommets in those holes that those dowels slide into. Uh, mine are missing, so I'm going to have to uh, get some at some point, but there's also supposed to bolt into that threaded hole right there. I've got a bolt here that will go on. They're just fine and pinch that down to hold it in place. Um, so I'm gonna have to source the rubber grommets and find those. So we're gonna go ahead and get that all tightened up and install that first. All right, don't make the mistake I did. Run this through here first and put your air filter on, get it tightened up first before you bolt it in. Then you can go ahead and get all this in place. All right, I got it in there. Ended up having to take one of the little metal dowels off and reaching my hand under the fender and installing it after I got it in. But it is now installed. We can now work on the top half right here. That is what we're going to do next. All right, I went ahead and put the little uh, silicone boots on to connect them. This is one of our last pieces right here to install. Probably be easier if the strut mount was out of the way, but I opted to try to leave it in while I do this. So. We'll get those on all the way afterwards. Helps to use a pick tool to try to get in on that lip. There we go. I got that set on. This side's not quite as hard to get back on. So I'll slip it back in. And I realized we forgot the clamp right here. Fortunately, I can just take it apart and wrap it around it. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, got all the hose clamps and ducting hooked up. Now we got our map sensor. It just hooks right back up. Got our Intake air temperature sensor. There's a grommet down here on the side. It's supposed to fit into, I don't know if it's going to. There you go. Yeah. It's not quite. I'll uh, get that rigged up later and how it'll fit. I'm not sure why it's not sliding in there like it's supposed to. But uh, that is the setup right there. That looks much nicer than before. Uh, I'm hoping it functions a lot nicer too. It certainly looks like it should. And the filter's hanging just below under there. I suppose the only downside of this, you gotta watch out for uh, hitting any big puddles. <laughs> so I'm gonna start it up. We're gonna listen to it. I don't know if it's gonna sound very different than before. It probably won't, but I'm gonna start it up and listen to it anyways. little bit of a difference than before it sounds actually slightly quieter because uh it's tucked away i guess under the hood um 
But yeah, guys, that is the install. If you guys like to pick up one for yourself, like the way this one looks, uh, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can go pick up one. Uh, but that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.